Ladies and gentlemen, it, was, it is my honor and pleasure and to be here in Belgrade. Um, last time I was here actually was um, actually first country uh, in my life when I visited to, uh, out of my country, which was in 1991. I've been so far 172, but first one was Serbia and I'm very proud of it. Because um, we Georgians are very close to Serbia and very close to Serbians historically, culturally, mentally, psychically, everything is when I'm coming to Belgrade, I think I'm in my own Tbilisi. And thank you very much for it. So um, now um, I have quite challenging job to, to say what I was thinking of. And I was, when Gary asked me to, to do it and uh, Neboja asked me to do it with this presentation, it was very, not easy task. And um, good, good thing was I had a time to think about it. And, uh, and then finally I've got something which I would like to present today to you. As I already mentioned, um, ideas and studies about higher education trends and problems are highly fragmented. Higher education is a different age, a different continent. Change is on the way, and a lot of this will affect academic profession. There is a continued need to reestablish a sense of academic mission. The academic revolution which took place in higher education during the last century varied in trans transformation. Comprehending this task while bank and development cycle is not an easy job. We know that last developments and challenges are not less of importance since the arrival of research universities in the 19th century as a new university naturally globally. To drive of change and nature of challenges for 21st century, higher education is more extensive and wider due to number of institutions and people by effect. Among our issues, I would like to draw your attention to some of the main challenges, like educational massification and social mobility, funding of higher education, diversified higher education systems and con uh, confronted ac academic standards. Initially, leading goal of higher education was a cope with public service mission. In 21st century, higher education has become a competitive enterprise. For student population, places at university are scarce. Admission process is competitive and universities contest for status, rankings, and funding from private and public sources. While competition is always a force to support fair development and excellence, it has not always supported academic society in development. For 21st century higher education, globalization, and integrated world economy is a key reality. Main influencing factors here are information and communication technologies, international knowledge network, and the role of English as dominant scientific language among other issues. All these result a variety of policies and program what universities create in response to internationalization. A such trend is that some regions of world represent an assault to national culture and autonomy. International unequal distribution of wealth and regional inequalities are some of the key challenges for different groups for access to higher education. Another big challenge is academic profession. In 21st century, an academic profession is under stress as never before, as there is an increasing need to respond to massification. Average qualification of academics in many countries has declined. As always, research resources are to be managed better. Research, teaching, and public service is in tight competition again. Information technology and technological revolution once was considered to take a leading role, but it is not happening anytime soon. <clears throat> All academic in institutions are required to follow new technological developments as both faculty and students like to demand digitized processes. Electronic means and digitalization of resources help academic process and research collaboration, knowledge transfer, and availability at remote places. 
crisis of academic profession is present and vivid. Universities cannot achieve results without well-qualified, committed academic staff. Neither an impressive campus nor an innovative curriculum will produce good results without a good professors. There's a lack of quality academic professions globally. With some predictions, up to half of universities, professors worldwide just hold bachelor degrees. In addition to this part-time profession become another challenge. Good professors need to be truly involved both in teaching and research. A significant proportion of academic profession must have full-time academic appointments and devote full attention exclusively to academic responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Current challenges is that universities employ part-time professors who have full-time commitments in our institutions. It is no longer easy and possible to lure best minds in academia. This uh, significant part of the problem is financial. Academic salaries did not keep up with rem remuneration of highly trained professionals anywhere. In the past years, academic autonomy was one of the main sources of affection to this profession. Situation has changed in many academic systems and institutions. In terms of ac accountability and assessment, academic profession has lost much of its autonomy. As a result, international mobility is increasing for academics similar to students. High, high education continues to be defined as it has always been by who enrolls, who teaches, how knowledge is produced and disseminated and by higher education's societal role. Change is inevitable in time, but line of movement in a modern world seems to be accelerating and presenting higher education to more complex challenge in every era. Traditional societal mission of higher education has been under pressure. The commercialization of higher education has put considerable strain on its social mission. These challenges require policymakers, administrators, and professors to reconsider some of the main structure and traditions of academic profession. Thank you very much.